G'day viewers, a little bit of Mr. Angry by request right now. One of my regulars goes by Raise91 on YouTube with his Graph Crew TSK, known as Scope. Wanted to highlight some of the issues that Melbourne graffiti artists are facing. Now, I put a few videos up of some Melbourne graffiti art, stencil art, because Melbourne has some really good stuff. But there's still some knuckleheads who just link everything up with vandalism. And hey, look here, some idiots, they tag stuff, they wreck stuff. I think they're morons. But, you know, real art? Come on, get with it. In fact, there was a recent case where one guy who'd been busted for doing a lot of graffiti went to court and he actually got off. The judge said, this guy's got no criminal record and giving him one and ruining his life for graffiti is basically a stupid idea. So he let him go without recording a conviction. And one blathering moron quoted in the newspaper went on and on about, oh, soft judge should have sent him to jail. Yeah, send a guy to jail for fucking graffiti. Honestly, that would only be said by someone who'd never seen the inside of a jail. Uh, now, I've only seen the inside of a jail as a visitor, scouts on it, but jails make people worse, not better. And the judge was right. You would have screwed this young guy's life up just because of some graffiti. You get over it, people. Let's focus our attention on some actual problems. Crimes that hurt people. When we solve all of those crimes, let's go after people who do horrible things like graffiti when that's all cleared up. Crazy thought, but let's consider it.